booktube. I am Sasha with Musings of a Final Girl and today I am doing my May wrap up. I actually read quite a bit this month including some non-horror and some ebooks that I just don't feel like adding right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into what I did read this month and hopefully remember the stab ratings I gave the books. So first of all I've got Stephen King, The Tommyknockers. This was a really good sci-fi horror type of novel. It, I guess, loosely dealt with aliens in a way. It was, it was really good. If you haven't read this, I would recommend it. It was a lot of fun. It's broken up into three different books. Book one was okay. Book two and book three is really where this story took off and I absolutely loved it. I th believe I gave this a four out of five stabs. Really hope that's right. I'm gonna make sure to link all of the reviews that I did do for the books that I read in the description and below. So if you want to check out those, I will have them linked. But this one was a really fun one. I try, I'm trying to read at least one Stephen King novel a month. And this was my one for May. Really enjoyed it. Looking forward to getting to some of his other books that I've had for a while and haven't read yet. The next book was The Hunting Prince Dracula. It is the second book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. This one was okay. If I had to give it a stab rating, I would give it a four. It was surprisingly not as gruesome as the first one was. The first one had a lot of a lot of in-depth autopsy descriptions that I actually really enjoyed because I'm morbid like that. So this one wasn't bad. I, I gave this a four. Uh, if you want to see a review of these, let me know in the comments below. I would love to maybe get around to reviewing these someday. Although they're not horror they're more dark fiction maybe I don't know this one wasn't bad uh centered around the characters a lot more I feel which that may be why it only got a four for me but not bad if you haven't read these I would highly recommend them they're really fun to read next up is The Evolution by Max Brooks I believe I gave this one a four stab rating as well. I haven't gotten around to reviewing this on my channel just because I got a little overwhelmed this month so there wasn't as many reviews. I'm hoping to better that over the next couple months so you'll have to stay tuned for those. This one was really good. It was about kind of Bigfoot, Sasquatch, good creature horror. Um, really enjoyed it. It was in a more, more remote location so you've got almost a claustrophobic feel because they're so isolated but a lot of fun to read. Next up is The Widow by Fiona Barton. This is a thriller. This one, whew, this was a bit of an intense read. Like, there were some heavy themes in this one, and I, oh, damn. <laughs> That's really all I can say. It was a good one. I want to say this also got a four. I had a lot of four stab ratings this month, which isn't bad. That means I, I enjoyed the book. I'd definitely give it a reread, but... This was a this was a pretty intense one to get through and like it sat with me for a few days afterwards. I really enjoyed it though. These next two books were part of blog tours that I took part in. Uh, first we have Jush, Part One: The Demon of Yodic by Adria Carmichael. Uh, I will link that blog tour video below. This was a pretty good read. The main character was a bit bratty at times and that kind of frustrated me. I want to say this got a three or a three and a half stab rating just because it, it was really hard to feel for the main character because she kind of acted bratty to me. Like she was 14 so I guess it's understandable but I'm hoping maybe in the next installment she has some character growth. And The Cuts That Cure by Arthur Herbert was also another one. This was a really good thriller as well. Uh, very character based. I, I don't want to say too much because I like you really should go read it. It wasn't bad. I, I did enjoy it. I believe that also got a three and a half rating. I only DNF'd one, two books this month. One was an ebook. But I did DNF Airframe by Michael Crichton. I, I just couldn't get behind this one. I got maybe 100 pages in and I just wasn't a fan. I might try to give it a reread here in a couple months. I'm not sure yet. But as of right now, this one just wasn't doing it for me. I didn't care for the airplane jargon. It just, eh. 
like I said, I might try to give it another reread at a later time. I don't know. And by far, my favorite read this month had to have been House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This, oh, if you definitely go check out my review for this one because I loved this book. Like, I kind of just ranted about how much I loved this book. It was so good. It had so many elements to it. It had, it fit into so many different genres. You've got a mystery aspect, a thriller aspect, some horror, some good body horror in my opinion. I, I just, oh, I loved it so much. It was so good. Definitely would give this a reread. And would definitely recommend this to literally almost anybody. It was so good. I, I did. I truly enjoyed that one. So that is what I read for May. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you read. And maybe let me know what you're planning to do for your June TBR. I would love to hear those. I will be getting a June TBR video up soon. I'm actually waiting on a couple of my books to come in the mail. And then I will be getting that video put up as well. I hope that you all are having a wonderful week so far. It's Wednesday, so here's to hoping. If you, if you haven't had a good week, here's to hoping it gets better for you. I will see you all in the next video, and remember, happy reading.